Okay, so for this problem, we need to find out the movement of the plane B. And finally, what is the total displacement at D? So now let's take a look at uh, this problem one more time. So we just learned how to calculate the deformation under the axial load. So we are going to use PL over AE to calculate the deformation. So we can see, is A point going to move at all? No, it's not, because it's a fixed end. So let's think about one more thing. If the length of the AB going to change, will the B plane move? The answer is yes. So this is how we are going to calculate the movement of the B plane. However, we need to be very clear what is the P means in this equation. It actually means what is the internal axial load in the AB segment. So which means in order to solve this problem, what we need to do is try to draw the axial load diagram for this axial loaded bar. So if we use the knowledge as we showed before, do the cut, we will be able to know in the CD segment, it will be under compression. So this is the axial load diagram. And the second step to calculate the movement of B, it will be the axial deformation in the AB segment. So which means, so what is the P internal force in the AB segment? We can see, we can refer our axial load diagram. It will be one kip. And then we have to use the lens in the AB segment because we will calculate the deformation in the AB segment. So that's why we are going to use 18 inches. And then accordingly, we have to find out what is the area in the AB segment and what is the material in the AB segment. And finally, we had this answer. It is positive, which means Let's go back to the axial load diagram one more time. So one kips is tension, right? So which means AB segment will be elongate instead of shortened under the tension force. So that's why the movement of the B respect to the fixed end A will go to the right. So now let's take a look at the second part. We need to calculate the total displacement of the D. So now let's take a look at this problem one more time. If the BC segment had the length change, will plane D move? The answer is yes. If the length of the CD change, will D plane move? The answer will be yes. So which means for the movement at D is not just one segment anymore. It's actually going to associate with all the segments that's going to have the lens change. So which means the total movement at D is actually going to be sum of all the axial deformation. So for the movement of B, we already calculate. And then let's take a look at the total change, total length change in the BC segment. It will be PL over AE one more time. So what is the P internal force in the BC? Again, we have to go to the axial load diagram. It will be 4.5 kip. And the length is going to change accordingly. This time it will be 10 inch. And then for the total change, total length change in the CD segment, we can see it's actually under compression. So it will be better to use negative here. So that we know we have to count the shorten of the length change. And then watch the units. We can see it's all kip and inch. So which means we can just lump all the numbers into the calculator. So the final 
movement at plane D respect to the fixed end A will be this much. It's positive, which means it will go to the right. So how we are going to solve this kind of the problem is always needs to find out the, a reference that is not moving at all so that you don't need to calculate the relative movement. So what does this mean is, what is the movement at D respect to the plane B? So now think about this. Is B plane going to move? The answer is yes. So how we are going to solve the problem? How we are going to calculate the relative movement from D respect to the B? Again, the best way is try to always find out the fixed end. So the movement at D will be, and then we take off the movement B respect to the fixed end, point A. So the relative movement respect at D respect to the B point will be delta C plus the delta D. So which means it will be and now we had a negative value, which means it's actually shortened, so which means it's actually moved to the left. 